I'm most jealous of people who have houses to live in. I'll ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dream Flux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Huh. It doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Nika hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... <sighs> Who are you? Come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just uh, make way, will ya? <laughs> so what? You hired this guy to be your thug? <laughs> No, I, I, I don't know this man either. But Thugger, no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. <sighs> Forking hell. You hired a human or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who have already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? For sake. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas would have... When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Fudging Sunday. <sighs> Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody. First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happened to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Hold on. Banana, my Sunday. Get it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally, someone sensible.
Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues, monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a Galaxy Ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone, and now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumbered Anna Monkey. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance, just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumbered Anna Monkey. The young people love it. The real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Springflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, you, those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides, for a very long time, this was the only place in Benicone that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? <sighs> the answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> you still worried about something? <sighs> Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that. Consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. I can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot right making things easy here. You say you're a slumber a monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait, I just let my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is, is, may all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket.
Hold it right there. Here for the Slumberdana Association event, sir. Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Uh, another bandwagoner? Exit's over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumberdana Monkey here. Oh, listen, buddy. Now, don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? I like that gal from just now. Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Dana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Dana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know? Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go racing too much ruckus. Okay, we'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? if you don't take good care of your throat. Uh, is something the matter, Miss Robin? Uh, nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, maybe I should have just kept it at Mr. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time in Pentacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> bananas? Oh, God! Just can't catch a break. 
Mr. Boothill, you... Uh, hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh, oh. Fork! Fudge! Fudge! Holy shirt balls, I'm back to normal! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Two? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately, to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve, so it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly off about the Dream Flux Reef. <sighs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected, it's come to your attention too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, Leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Summer Nana Association. Oh, I swung by that place too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well, don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at, but why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? Uh, long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first, I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <sighs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Man and Monkey? And tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudgeheads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. Look like someone who placed that monkey beside my pillow. Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Ah, uh, you. What? Well, wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello. Oh my! I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together! 
I must be the luckiest man alive. If it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in. You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person, like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say. Good things come in pairs. There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here, bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. To be honest, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to songwriting. This song was taken from somewhere else. But the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling Slumber Nana Monkey's story, so I wrote new lyrics for it. This is the Slumber Nana Traveler. I hope you find it appealing. <laughs> I've wandered far, I've wandered wide with Slumber Nana Monkey. Its voice so clear, its voice so bright, tells me to remember. When you're tired, take a rest, take a break, it's for the best. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. They're even singing about it now. So, uh, what's your expert opinion on this? I love it. A song finds meaning in its existence. Only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is. I can never take song away from the people. Something else? Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association way too lightly, if you ask me. But here it goes. What tiers make up the Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Bingo, on to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you passed! That was impressive. This way, sir. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. 
I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Gertel. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ certain means of doing things, it'll be for the better if I'm not around. <laughs> As expected, going to see the power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It will be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Huh. Strange. They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Bhutan, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys, monkeys, more monkeys. They're all little fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Osaru, they doggone what a fudger. This is way too familiar, sad for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rap of Fear Bill would. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh. Thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Budo. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then, I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later. Mr. Boothill. Fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. Hmm. That was quick. My banana, call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation right so soon. Ah, bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that me?
Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. Ninja Initiate Rappa. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours. might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Come to think of it, ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Uh-huh. I thought all classes were canceled. A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dream leading classes at the Stage Plaza. Let's go take a look! Ninja Ruby, Ninja Hiryu. Uh, you 
don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got one. All right, let's dive right into our academics. Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic dye, which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall. The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Monkey! So, this class is about painting? No, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, but I... did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Hold your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, banana! I see. <laughs> banana. Hmm? But now, but now, don't worry. Memetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand Bana gibberish better. <laughs> Great! Ah, that's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. Definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananas too, Don Hung. Uh, how about she and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Great. Let's head out. to try <laughs> me uh, me too excellent you can all come up here those who excel might even earn some course credits but Visualize what you want to create.
Long time no see, Outlander. You are our clan savior, and the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? <laughs> Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. Oh, 
<laughs> Not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Uh, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas. Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, banana. possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up, Banana. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. What? Who, who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, big head feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just 0.1 microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What was that nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate Patissia needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, ninja initiate Patissia? Huh? Um... As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, Pythons slither without feet, as manta rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction. <sighs> Whatever it takes, I really need to earn my credits. Cheating banana! Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja. Uh, yeah, you were being way too mean to her. And my six phase dice is pretty good too. Ah, you've really but annoyed me, unruly monkey. You Barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Alas! The pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hut shall be set in motion. Give it to them, Assistant Annas! Show those unruly what it means to be disciplined! Banana! Yeah. 
Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed it. The university failed to take these net advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the dreamweaving class, but it seems like it was the Sweet Dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Pardon me, but I don't think I've seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Pentagony. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. And you seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is, if the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new students. teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Here to see what's going on. 